territory um, where they now have 10 mail bombs to prominent Democrats. Aaron Katursky, ABC News correspondent. Uh, they're searching in Florida now, right? Uh, a postal center in Opelika, Florida, in the Miami area, has emerged as one focal point, and they're, they're searching in South Florida because that's so far where the best evidence has led. They've been able to do a forensic analysis on the undetonated devices at the FBI lab. They've also been scanning images provided by the Postal Service of mail that's moved through their systems. And they've been going back and looking at the history of threats against Debbie Wasserman Schultz, whose Florida office was the common return address on all the packages recovered so far. All of that has led them uh, to the Miami area and this postal facility in Opelika, Florida. We'll see where they end up today, but they certainly are hopeful that they're on the trail. Uh, all of the bombs went through the mail? All ten have gone through the mail, and uh, they may have ultimately been delivered by courier or, or you know, messenger or some other service, but uh, at least at one point or another, all ten packages did go through the mail, and that confirms one of the worst fears of investigators. The mail system is vast, it is difficult to police, and you had... Uh, potentially viable devices that were, you know, sent undetected. Yeah. Um, apparently, well, it, these were real bombs, clearly, but they're pretty. They're 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 handled uh, right through the mail. Pretty pretty rough and tough. So even though they were real bombs, they were at least secure enough to where they wouldn't go off accidentally through the mail. And and that's what investigators just don't know. Were, were, were they built um, so they didn't go off intentionally? Or, or were they just built poorly? You know, did some of the components fail? Were they just not put together the right way? Uh, that's what investigators have, have yet to determine. But that's almost a secondary question, because as we've heard repeatedly from the FBI, the NYPD, and others, the, the, the suspicion is, or, or at least they're treating this as if they were real pipe bombs, viable pipe bombs, that had the potential to maim or kill. Mm. Uh, what about the postmarks? They were all postmarked. Did they learn anything from that? Not all of them were, and, and that's part of the investigation, why some of the packages uh, had postmarks and others didn't. In fact, one of the uh, packages sent to Vice President Biden had a sticker that said postage due, uh, and, and so it was uh, sent back and kind of made a circuitous route. That's also part of the investigation. Was the intention to get all these things back to the office of Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz? Or, 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 or what? You know, investigators are still trying to you know, figure that part out. That's interesting that a package was sent through the mail and was not postmarked. Uh, right. Uh, and investigators are trying to figure out why that was. We're told that sometimes happens, given the, the size of the package or you know, if it's just put into a, a, an ordinary mailbox. Uh, maybe it doesn't get postmarked. Uh, there, there could be an innocent reason, uh, or it could have been a mistake, or, you know, who knows? Yeah. So they're, they're trying to figure that out. Aaron, what are authorities saying about more bombs in the mail? Are they feeling that, that, that this is it, or, or no, can we expect more? No, I think more? you're going to hear about more, uh, and, and, and uh, you may be hearing about more uh, in, in rather short order. Uh, and the FBI had braced the public for the possibility that more would be discovered or more could be put into the mail system. And, and, and that's part of the reason why the Postal Service has now alerted all 600,000 of its employees to what these things look like so they know what to look for and, and, and they have a, a sense of what, um, you know, what, what it is mm -hmm. that's out there. They want to try and intercept it, of course, before it gets to any intended recipient. Aaron, Aaron Katursky, ABC News correspondent. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Mike.